Hey folks, this is Johnny and welcome to another Home Studio Trainer Show and today uh, we're going to take a look at Melodyne real quick. An interesting question came up saying, hey, where's my Melodyne split tool? So the version of Melodyne that comes with uh, Studio One, see where's my camera? Oh, it's way over there, yikes. Uh, that comes with Studio One is Melodyne Essentials. So there's a lot of tools and a lot of features that are missing from that one. But overall, you should be able to uh, use and use well all of the tools that comes with Essentials. It really has all the basic stuff you need to tune and fix vocals. So it doesn't have some of the um, the big uh, features like the um, where you can actually tune chords and tune strings within a chord. It used to be called DNA. I don't know what it's called now. But um, all of those tools and some of the more detailed editing tools for sloping vocals and things like that aren't included in this. But all of the basics to tune should be there. So uh, before we get started, if you could, I'd really appreciate it if you would like a like this video, subscribe to my channel, and enable notifications so that you know when these things are coming up. And if you really want to help the channel, uh, click the join button, and for a couple bucks a month, uh, you will get some exclusive uh, features. You'll know ahead of time when videos are coming, and... I've only got a few members uh, so far right now, so eventually, once I get 10 or more, I'll be able to do um, live streams for just the members. Uh, so, But if you'd rather, go ahead and join my Patreon page, and there's already some cool stuff over there. So either one, whichever one works for you. Patreon is cool because I can post videos over there that I can post here on YouTube. All right, so let's go to the classroom. All right, so here we are, and here is Melodyne. And one of the things that people are saying, if I right-click on and on a blob, if I right-click, I, I don't see a split tool. Where the heck is my split tool? And if you look at some screenshots of the bigger version, you actually see a split tool there. But with Melodyne Essentials, at least as far as I know, and somebody correct me if I'm wrong, uh, it, maybe it's in another place, but I couldn't find it. Leave a comment in the comments area and let me know. Um, but with Melodyne Essentials, here's what I discovered. If I really zoom in on a particular blob and I just bring, whoops, I'm going to go ahead right here and I'm going to click the arrow key, so, uh, the arrow button. So now if I bring this down slowly, oh, look at that, a split tool. I'm not clicking on anything. I'm not. Uh, I'm not selecting anything in the menu. You can see that there is no split tool available up here. But if I just bring the mouse down, there we go, and just hover right there, I can split. Uh, so you guys don't want to hear this vocal. <laughs> Trust me. All right. So if I go ahead and bring this down, there's my split tool. Double click, and boom, uh, it's. Plants. And this came up uh, from my good friend Rich, who uh, is like, well, hey, I don't see the split tool in my version of Melodyne. Do I have to get the big version to get a split tool? No, you definitely don't. So other things that you have here is if we go ahead and highlight this group of notes here. If I click on this right here, this will give me the ability to pitch correct and pitch drift. So if I move this, you can see that my horrible vocal is now being corrected. Now, the pitch drift is these little, or are these, <laughs> are these little lines in between. And I want you to watch these things closely as I start to drag this across. It's very, very slight, but what it does is it brings my horrible uh, 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 voice, and it brings it within at least a reasonable key uh, for, uh, for this portion of the uh, blobs that I've highlighted. And yes, they are called blobs. So, uh, again, real quick here, over on the right, there is a blob magnification. And <laughs> let's see if I can actually show you guys this. So if I zoom in and I bring this down and I hover my mouse over this right here, it says blob magnification. I love it. I love the fact that it actually says blob. And this will actually give you the ability to really magnify the blobs. So there you go. Nice little piece of information. So there you go. That pretty much takes care of it. So I, I hope that this was helpful because I got this question a couple of times about a year ago. And I'm like, no, the, the, the split tool is there. I, it never dawned on me to really dig in and actually check because I've just kind of done it out of habit. You know, I go here, I hover the mouse and boom, there it is. Oh, you guys don't even see that right now. 
All right, so very cool. So I hope you guys got something from this, and I'll see you all in the next video.